How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome yourselves back to another video on the channel. Again, we're doing a review. It is not even August these days, it's September. It's September the 9th, literally right now. And uh, like I say, it's not just for the review, let's get content out for you guys. Some of you may still be playing the game of FIFA 21. The new game's out in like 13 days, I want to say 13 days, I don't know if I'm right saying that, but I'm going to say it anyways, 13 days time. We'll be playing FIFA 22, we'll be all like skipping in fields, happy, merry, and then we'll play weekend league and I'll just go to shite, you know what I'm saying? But lads, welcome back to another review on the channel, and uh, welcome back your faces. Honestly, I just want to get cracking with 22, but there is cards to review, and there's still content to be made on 21. The thing is, I just want 22 out, like literally right now. We got West Ham Ben the other day, of course last night we did the 5 star skills, Masio Gwenduzi. Now you guys know the crack when it does come down to these showdown cards. They win, plus two. They draw, plus one to both of them. And if they lose, nada. Zilch, nothing, uh, zero. They stay with the 95 rated. And so uh, with this twist on Ben Yedder, of course he's got a team of the season item. So again, could look at that. And you, you might like that card and think, you know what? Is it worth the upgrade to this 95? Lads, uh, we're going to show you today. That's literally the point of the video. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. You bring that type, you smash that like for reviews in September. September? This has got to be a world record for FIFA 21 reviews in September. Actually, tell a lie. I actually did like throwback reviews. I think it was called like reviews of players I missed. I inspirational title, by the way. But um, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we've got Ben Yedder today. I'm going to give you the lowdown on the card. If you do enjoy like I did see, make sure you like the video. That would be very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. Get ready for FIFA 22 content on, well, this channel. We're going to go ham this year. Uh, honestly, this last year, I kind of neglected the YouTube. I tried some different things, and it's a mixture of everything. The main thing being not putting enough time into this because I had things outside of YouTube that was distracting, and honestly, I had the streaming as well. So this year, we are going all in on 22 YouTube content and content across every other social platform to... I, I want to... Yeah, I'm going to make sure this is going to be the best year we have ever had on YouTube. Unless my YouTube dies. Unless I'm dying. Hey, that's a bit grim. Lads, welcome to the review. And like I did say, subscribe for 22 con. Now, with Sam Yeti, you always know he's got a five-star weak part. Uh, Four-star skills, high, high work rates, which it's always the same with Ben Yeti, isn't it? High, high work rates is fantastic. It's his stats. These stats are bloody gorgeous in every single sense. You look at the card. Maybe long shots. Didn't really like that stat about the cards. I, I think that could have been a little bit higher. But dribbling-wise with this card... Can you actually get better? 99 acceleration with a basic chem style. Sprint speed also goes to 99. It's got 99 agility, 99 balance, 98 reactions, 99 ball control, and 99 dribbling. I don't think you can actually get better than that, unless you've literally got maxed out dribbling as well. So, I mean, you could put an engine on him. No, I don't think that boosts reactions. Nah, I don't think it does. Shooting wise, it looks great. Apart from the long shots, which is 84 like it is here. It's capped out at 99 and literally everything with a basic game style. Passing is... It's brilliant for a striker. Now, a lot of people look at long passes and think, you know what, it's 80. It's, it's going to be terrible. Basically, for strikers, they look at a vision, short passing cable. That is it. That is all. And maybe a bit crossing if he does drift out wide. And see, in terms of traits, he's got flat and outside of foot shot, which are two fantastic traits. Or being for his dribbling, we're seeing a 99 jump and 95 in accuracy. So again... He is capable in the air, it's just 5 foot 7, he's still going to be over roads by like someone that's 6'4 with 99 jump, he's not going to win that hitter unfortunately. 87 stamina, you do expect a little bit better at this stage of the game for stamina, but again that is sufficient enough. 81 strength, 71 aggression, didn't really like that bell card, but the high high definitely helps him in that sense, you've seen the traits like I did see here, and there's only one thing left to do, well, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go then lads, this is the gameplay I did mention, and uh, I used them last night, I used them two nights. Uh, content of nights, I think we got in 92 or 93 times 10. The price is ridiculous on it to be honest, uh, I'd keep going with the 85 times 10. I know it's not 93 or 92 times 10, but it's definitely more worth it. You get basically the same cards as well, which is absolute lunacy. Uh, this card is actually lunacy as well. When I say lunacy, I mean bonkers, crazy, insane, which I could put in the title, probably get more clicks. But honestly, I enjoyed this card. I enjoyed this card in what he brought to the table. That is a gorgeous little chip over the goalkeeper in the back of the net. What he does is those one twos, I literally just triggered one there to get him in behind for the chip. It's just the give and go is so quick, you can almost pass it instantaneously back 
She whiffs on Ben Yedda, and he's got a chance. You know that instant one see where your passenger just quickly pass it instead of wait till he's on the last man through ball it or wait till he's in an ideal position then pass it or cross it through ball over the top it whatever you want to do it's almost like you don't have to wait you can just instantly do it because with acceleration stuff like that he's already away and he's getting into the right position this is where he does drift off to the right hand side and again we go back for the one two lads in here this time we do head it down that's fantastic play and a lovely finish by Wissam Ben Yedda. In the box, this lad is very, very deadly. But I will say, outside the area, I didn't really like to... Uh, I, I don't know, you could have effort from outside the area. I had at least 58 over the course of the games. Now, of course, that is not factually correct. Probably had about 28. But honestly, I don't think I scored a single one of them. I was doing finesses, doing power shots. I was doing left foot, right foot. And I just couldn't get the right balance, the right amount of power to actually stick it in the top bins. Otherwise, he wasn't really in that position to do uh, uh, such a thing. So again, you could look at that and think, is it the long shot stats? I think it's that mixed in with his work rates because at times he can drop a little bit deep with the high defensive work rates. At times he can play on the last man with the high attacking work rates. So again, you do look at that and think, mm, maybe it's not just the long shots, maybe it's the positioning as well. He's not getting into the right areas or regions to take these strikes. And I would definitely agree with that. That's probably the closest I came from a long range effort. Uh, a nice little strike from outside the area. It didn't really harm a fly, to be honest with you guys. The keeper just parried it away like it wasn't even an effort. Nice play here by Neymar. Neymar does very well. Pass it back into Wissam Ben -Yera. Who's moving the goalkeepers in September, boys? Rookie mistake. We, we just smash it into the near post. But the main thing I did like with Wissam Ben -Yera, you can see it amongst the pros, is actually the dribbling. The dribbling was actually touch tight, so very responsive. Even tonight, my, my, my connection tonight's been a bit ropey. It's been a bit jumpy. It's been a bit... Laggy, even on like PC games, we've been streaming a lot of uh, different games recently. And again, today the connection hasn't been brilliant. So you look at that and you think, you know what, maybe today I could give him the benefit of the doubt. If he doesn't do well, hey, he doesn't do well. That's a great finish as well by Ben Yedda. But honestly, it was fantastic, even in the delayed gameplay. So again, very responsive card, great agility. And um, yeah, his dribbling was fantastic and easily the best thing about this card. Of course, you could see five star weak foot. It's definitely a bonus, but I don't think it's the best thing about the card. Uh, pace wise, electrifying. But the thing is, it adds to his dribbling as well, because not only is he fast, he's a speed dribbler as well, which again, enhances this card ninefold because he can get past many players. You guys know in this game now, there is so many top tier defenders that AI blocks will almost be inevitable. It's like Thanos with that, you know what I'm saying? But, it's basically gonna happen every single time. So if you've got a striker that can go one way, quickly switch feet and go the other way, and then quickly switch, you just basically to get the opening on goal, and then you take the shot and he's got 99 finish, 98 shot power, 99 volleys with 96 composure. Hey, Bob's your uncle, man. Well, he's probably not your uncle, but it will go in and you will get that chance. The other pros I did like about the cards, of course, is the movement, the high, high work rate does benefit him. I think, Cons wise, honestly, I don't see too many cons with the cards because he's not going to be a strong player. It's Ben Yedder, he's never a strong player. But um, if I was to want something better from the cards, it, it could be he's, he's shooting from range or the position to get in from range or his aggression. That is literally it. But again, with the aggression, with the works has been high, high, he covers a lot of grounds in a quick amount of time. So again, I can't really say. This is terrible with the card because there's nothing actually terrible with the cards. So he's got no standout flaws. And he's a very, very good card at that. You've seen a similar play at the bottom. I think if Mertens had a five-star weak foot, you'd probably get mistaken for thinking they're the exact same player. Uh, I don't know Mertens' height, but I'm going to guess five foot seven. Can I, can I actually check? I'll check on my console, guys, so I'm not like... Oh, my console's slow. I'm, I'm telling you, my connection to this sucks. But, um, yeah, honestly, if you look at these Mertens, please be five foot... Something. Five foot seven. Five foot seven. He's five foot seven. Exact same height. So again, we can look at Jace Mertens and think, hey, if he had a five star weak foot, these are the exact same player, apart from work rates and lack of weak foot, of course. Um, 9.8 overall rating is what you will guess. Honestly, I think that's fully deserved as well. Fantastic card with bags of ability. And the question that you guys, if you've got a team in the season, Ben Yedda, which, if you haven't done this 85 times 10, you will already have him if you have done it. But if you haven't done it, what are you doing first and foremost? And two, he's better than that team of the season that you will get. So you can recycle that one or back in the packs. Job is a good one. Job is a good one. So 9.8 overall rating is what you will get. In terms of value coins, 10 
out of 10. There's no doubt about that. He's under 100k at 85,000 coins. Yeah, 85, 85. And that is the exact price on Footbin as of right now, which is normally where I get, where I get them from. Last night for Gwendozi, it hadn't updated, so I had the estimates. Uh, but yeah, 85,000 coins for a 95, potentially 97 rated on 96 rated uh, with Sam Benyera. It's almost virtually unheard of of uh, FIFAs of the past, like 2019, uh, if, if I can count, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Has Ben Yedder been in every ultimate team? Got no idea. But it's virtually unheard of to have a card that cheap at this stage in the game and the ability to build your ultimate team on ultimate team. That's never been really a thing. And so the enjoyment for myself, for Dries, not even Dries Mertens. That's a similar player. Hope I didn't see a Mertens before. Uh, with Sam Ben Yedder, of course, uh, it's going to be a 9.6 enjoyment. 9.6 enjoyment. Very enjoyable cards. Most notably for the dribbling. But overall, for the speed dribbling, the positions he gets into are... And uh, it's just hard to tackle. I don't know about you guys, but for me, if I played against him, I'd find it difficult to take the ball off him. That's where we're going to finish today's review. Like I say, it's not just about doing reviews in September. It's about giving you guys the content. If you're playing the game, hey, fair play, fair play. That, that SPC actually got me back into the game, to be honest with you guys. Um, I just want to get back into... What is it? The, the video flow. When I say the video flow, it's like... Getting back into the YouTube normality? What's the words honestly fail me every single time I do words? Speak. See what I mean? I can't even speak. Let's talk. Lads. I'm psh, psh. Basically, it's the good cards. And I'm doing reviews in September because I'm trying to get back into the YouTube rhythm. That's the word, the YouTube rhythm. Of uh, creating content, uploading to you guys, and just... I'm giving you guys content, man. I like talking to you guys each and every day. So again, if you want to interact with me or anything like that, comment section below and um, yeah, I'll respond. If it's not tonight, it'll be tomorrow because people do sleep. I'm just not very well in my case. Well, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. FIFA 22. Hurry up, man.